The parable of those who spend their wealth in the name of Allah is as the parable of grain growing seven years. In every year a hundred grains and Allah multiplies further for whom he pleases and is ample giving knowing. The Berlin Mosque needs your help. As president and emir of the Lahore and the Anjuman Ishat Islam Lahore. I'm launching a worldwide appeal to all members, sisters and brothers. The Berlin Mosque, situated in the heart of Wilmersdorf area of Berlin, is the oldest preserved mosque of Germany. This mosque, generally known as Berlin Mosque, was built by the MD Anjuman Ishat Islam Lahore. The project was completed from 1924 to 1928 under supervision of Hazrat Maulana Sadruddin, the second president and the mir of our Jamaat. The building was designed by a renowned Berlin architect, Karl August Hermann. His genius is reflected in the structure, which was inspired by historical monuments like Taj Mahal in Agra, India, Bachai Mosque in Lahore, Pakistan, and the Alhambra Palace in Granada, Spain. The resulting structure adorns the heart of Wilmersdorf and is recognized as an historical building by the Monumental Department of Berlin. The mosque has stood in Berlin for almost a century and is not only a pride of this internationally famous city, but also for the whole of Germany. From its very inception, the Berlin Mosque was intended not only as a place of prayer for all Muslims, irrespective of their sex, but also to promote interfaith dialogues and be a gathering point for people of all countries and faiths. It has served this purpose well. And we have visitors around this year who visit this mosque individually and in groups. School children from kindergarten classes to college students, men and women from young age to elderly citizens pay visit to this mosque. There's exchange of ideas and ideologies amongst all faiths 
and a mutual learning and extension of understanding and love for one another. There is a close cooperation with the members of the Danish church, which is across the road from us. We provide an opportunity for people of all faiths to celebrate their holy occasions. We also encourage holding of workshops on religious as well as subjects of general interest to the public. This mosque is a venue for the Berlin Monument Day as well as the long night celebrated in this lovely city. It's a regular venue for Islamic prayers and congregations and is open to members of all religions as we provide special seating arrangements for observers. The Imam being multilingual has the advantage of communicating with a wide range of visitors not only from Germany but from all other countries of the world. The sermons are delivered in German with translations into English and Arabic. It has become an international venue which draws more and more visitors with the passage of time. We provide a forum for interreligious discussions and this has recently gained momentum. The mosque is popular with scholars of history, architect, research and religion. Documentaries based on the mosque and its history and interviews with the Imam have been aired on TV channels of Al Jazeera as well as, as, well as those of Indonesia, Russia, Bosnia and Egypt. Documentaries made by them have promoted the mosque and the city of Berlin. In World War II, when the great city of Berlin suffered uh, structural damage, the mosque too was affected with a dome, a minaret, and the roof sustaining considerable damage. These have since needed a continuing renovation and the renovation was made possible by support of the monumental department and contribution by the Lower and the movement. The monument department has been ever generous but with the economic crisis that it is facing there's a constraint on its contributions. Its contribution, which was as much as 80%, has now come down to 20%. We greatly appreciate and thank the Monumental Department for its very generous contribution in these hard times. However, we desperately need to raise the remaining 80%. This, of course, is beyond the resources available with the central engineer. Consequently, to preserve this unique architectural building, which is playing a role in promoting the aim of our engineer, an urgent repair and renovation is in progress. The expected amount needed is a mammoth sum of 1 million euros. Consequently, as Amir and President of this worldwide movement, it falls on me to appeal to our generous community to come forward 
in support of maintaining this historical and valuable monumental building. We hope that it will continue to play a great role in providing the propagation of our teachings and promoting peace, interfaith relations, harmony, and love among people of all nations and faiths. In anticipation, I thank you all for your generosity. May Allah reward you many folds, as he has promised in the verse which I recited at the start of my appeal. Allah says in verse 261 of chapter 2 of the Holy Quran, the parable of those who spend their wealth in the name of Allah is as the parable of grain growing seven years. In every year a hundred grains and Allah multiplies further for whom he pleases and his ample giving knowing Sisters and brothers, I'm sure that keeping in with our tradition of generosity in the service of religion and our movement, you will contribute generously. Allah grant you award in plenty. Amen.